So, uh, welcome again to the HN Vlog. Today I want to talk about partnership, partnership, partnership. I know I talk a lot about partnership, man. I think it's the right way to expand uh, in Africa if you don't have a lot of capital. But how do you find this partner? How do you access those people? I think there's a few key things that I used uh, to find the right partners in different markets we, we, we've been on. And um, so check out the vlog, man, and uh, see if you learn something. You know, partnership on paper, it, it looks good, right? Um, but it's a very, very hard thing to do. I always say partnership, you know, it's like marriage, right? You know, you find a partner, just like sports say, you're looking for a partner. You have to match, you have to have the same vision. You know, you have to have a lot of similarities. You guys have to see eye to eye on a lot of stuff. And, and the most important things about partnership is you have to come up with an agreement when you disagree on something. So it doesn't go over, overboard and, and go to a legal issue. So it's very difficult uh, to find the right partner. You know, but when you find the right partner, it could be really, really impactful and deadly because again, at the same time, it's no longer just you. You know, now it's a group of you. You know, it minimizes the use of your resources and then you share resources around the, the, you and the partner. But today I want to share areas where you find partners, man. The first area, of course, is, is within your network, right? Um, always, always, for example, our partner in Uganda uh, was within my network. Uh, and uh, I was able to tap within my network, give them a profile. So you need to develop a profile of what type of uh, person you're looking for, entity you're looking for. You need to know what you're looking for. It's much, much easier to trim down when you have a profile. When you develop a profile, then you know what, what the background should be, what type of resources they should have, uh, what type of team. So when you get the profile, again, like I said, you, you tap within your network, right? And you'll be amazed about you know, who knows who. You know, it, it, it doesn't cost you anything. You just tap. Get the profile, you start telling people, this is what I'm looking for, this is the market I'm trying to penetrate. And they give you uh, some people. And then same thing, if that's not, not you're not gonna get the right person on the first bunch. And then, you know, if they're not interested, a lot of them will tell you, no, I'm not interested. Looking for uh, already uh, busy with other stuff. Boom, you ask them, you know anybody, you start networking. Uh, another way I found some interesting partnership is conferences. I do a lot of conferences across uh, the year. And it becomes even valuable when you position yourself as a speaker on those conferences. Then people psychologically already raise the valuation of who you are. And they automatically look at you as somebody important, so they want to partner with you. It's much easier to sell a partnership through that, but of course, you have to make sure there's a match. But conferences, networking events, uh, uh, another way to partner also is uh, LinkedIn. Ooh wee, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. I've, I've did a, I did a whole vlog around LinkedIn, so I'm not gonna go through. I'll, I'll put it somewhere at the end of the video. But LinkedIn, guys, LinkedIn is a powerful way to find partners because from if you have a profile, you can build that profile directly on LinkedIn, and it gives you a bunch of people that fits that profile. You know, LinkedIn is the most powerful uh, for professionals, man. Powerful social media now, it's a so social media. Um, so you, you have to utilize LinkedIn. Post, post what you're doing. You never know who's looking at what you're doing, man. I, I keep telling people all the time, you know, utilize the platforms out there. They're free. And millions and millions of people you know, goes to those platforms every day. So you never know who's gonna see what you're doing, who's gonna share what. I've got speaking engagement through LinkedIn, I got some partnership through LinkedIn, I got some investment through LinkedIn. I mean, LinkedIn has been so good to me. And that's why I post so much. You're gonna watch this video on LinkedIn for sure. 
Um, so LinkedIn, man, uh, it's a powerful, powerful medium. And uh, again, I'm, I'm, the last, the last part, and I think it's the most powerful part, in a sense where uh, this is what most big business, medium-sized businesses do: law firm and accounts, specifically law firm. When you open to a new market, most of the time you need a lawyer to set up your company and make sure everything is straightforward. Make sure you know set up your contracts, review contracts, whatever that is. Find a law firm that is into your space and very well connected. Remember, accounts lawyers serve multiple clients. They're not the only one. A lot of time they serve big companies, medium-sized companies. You know, they have a huge network and they're very influential. They have a lot of influence um, in business. Can't do business without a lawyer. You know, lawyers are the backbone of business, man. So law firm can make your business. If you find the right law firm, you build a rapport with those guys, you build a relationship with those guys, and you ask them for connection. They can open a lot of doors for you guys. Um, so if, if you look at most of the big deals that happen or partnership, it's usually a lawyer or a law firm that connect the two, connect the dots. And it's the incentive to do so because both of you might be their client, who they connected you as a potential client. So they, they're making valuable for you and they show how valuable they are so they know you're going to stay around and stick around with their services, right? So law firm, man very very powerful so when you open a new market find the right law firm um, and finally sorry I say it was final but not finally there's the last one that is kind of new it's been going on for a few years uh, is tech hubs tech hubs man there's a lot of companies in those tech hubs a lot of tech company use tech specifically for tech and um, you can meet, I, I, I can't tell you, when you have a bunch of companies in the same space, it's much, much easier to network and build. So if you're going to open shop, open shop to a tech hub. Find a hub. Uh, if you're a tech company, find a hub and sign up. Don't find your own office. You can do that later on after two, three years. But in the beginning, get inside a tech hub. They do a lot of conferences. They do a lot of networking events and you'll be amazed by what type of partnership you can find within those hubs. All right, guys, I, love, I hope you, you got some valuable uh, insight. If you like what you see, man, subscribe, man. Stop being, stop, stop, stop being shy, man. Subscribe, put some comments. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm here to help, man. All right, peace.